Hey guys, MechanicCG here and welcome back to another video and today we're playing some Outer Worlds. The Outer Worlds. Um, we're going to go for story difficulty. Um, I think I've played a tiny little bit of the start just to get used to it. Um, but there's a cutscene now so I'm going to shut up. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Okay, so this is where we pick our abilities. So we get melee weapons, heavy weapons, block, inspiration, and intimidate, extra points. This one is one-handed melee, handguns, dodge, block, sneak, lock, pick. Long guns, handguns, heavy weapons. Oh, I might go for perception. An eye for detail. I bet you wrote some thorough reports. Um, persuade, lie, intimidate, hack, science, inspiration. Uh, sneak medical. Uh, I'm gonna do two for each of them. One for each. Extra critical damage and extra carrying weight. I think that would be good. Uh, next, we pick our trees that we upgrade. I wouldn't pay to see you challenge the chairman to fisticuffs. Oh, okay, so based on what we pick depends on what points we get, but then we can also put an extra 10 on each of these. Well, I want an extra 10 on each of them. And I want an extra 10 on stealth. Uh, next... I think for this one I went for medical technician. Maybe you can do something about this uh, lump in my neck. Oh. Uh, we're gonna go for male. Uh, what kind of faces do we have? There's loads of different faces we could go for. I'm gonna go for that one. Uh, I quite like the hair already as it is. Um, I might change the color. That's quite a nice red, actually. Uh, we'll put a little scar there. Oh, and we can make him look old or young. That's good. We'll stick with that. Oh, name. What name should we give him? 
Um. Oh. Now, when I played through a little bit, I called him the Yeeter, but I think that's a little bit uh, stupid. So I'm gonna call him just my name, Craig. Why does it auto correct to Craig David? Why? No. That should not be allowed. Right, let's uh, start the game with this character. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. Terra two orbiting laboratory. going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see here. Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! <laughs> There's, like, mild bits of humour. It's like... It's not a ser super serious game like some games are. It's got a little bit of comedy factor to it. A little bit light-hearted. Come on. It does take a bit of time to load. I did find that out. Um, but it should be alright. Oh, we hadn't landed yet. I thought we had landed. Now we've landed. Oh well, no sense in letting his 
ship go to waste. <laughs> also, I won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. I would presume so. I mean, he did get squashed. Unsuspectingly. I mean, he wouldn't have felt it, really. What is this? Ugh! What's Adreno? Uh, is there anything in here? So this has a very um, Fallout New Vegas feel to it. I think it is the same developers, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, a lot of stuff is copied, like, super similar. What on earth is this? That's a light. Oh, what's going on? You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Okay, yeah, that's our inhaler. I remember this a little bit. You, come here. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. Uh, I'll patch him up. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Uh, how are you feeling? Thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Adrena time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters <laughs> by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah. Okay. Persuade. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. I'm not counting the bullet in my side. Haha. <laughs> you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. <laughs> now that that's time. Um. Let's go. Damn it, my ears! <laughs> what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? Um. Due to compl uh, complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Okay, so we can slow down time. Nice. What's this guy got? Oh, he's got a sentry saber. Take all of that. Uh, what's this? Uh, I can't do that. W was that tarmac and cheese? There we go. Come on. Yes, nice. Take all of that. Take all of that. Oh, we got another pistol. Oh, 
Oh, it's just a light pistol, though. from stranger but you best keep your head down there's marauders hereabouts and worse landing violators call on that rung leech landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad i'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about um oh what ah Dealt with these marauders. I'm hunting that sick freak down. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath, stretch my legs some. Um. Well, sometimes management's real good at cost-benefit analysis, but. Seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, let's go. Die, die. Haha, <laughs> I just like butted him with my pistol. Uh, where are those go bodies gone? They've disappeared. Here they are. What the fuck is that? Um, okay. Unauthorized access of space bearing vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. No. Hello, please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Um. I don't appreciate being talked to that way. I have been programmed to communicate with diplomacy and tact. Please allow me to demonstrate. Jettison procedure initiated. Please engage in airlock. Prepare to eject all boarding planes in five, four, three, two, one. Uh, is something supposed to be happening? My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express. Disappointment. Yeah. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Well, he's dead. <laughs> Your captain's a red smear under my escape I pod. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Uh, yes. I understand. You are speaking metaphorically. You wandered outside the ship and experienced a permanent, life-changing encounter. The old you is dead. Welcome back, Captain Hawthorne. I extend felicitations and congratulations on your life-changing experience. <laughs> you don't know. I understand. You are going undercover with an alias. I will update my discussion protocol accordingly. Unfortunately, oh. our engine is currently inoperable. Our Please don't refer to me as Captain Hawthorne. And we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must 
be replaced. Oh. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? It is difficult for me to do so. I am programmed to accept commands from Captain Alex Hawthorne, after all. Mm, no. Or a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. <laughs> Try to stay alive. Ah, uh, you've been promoted. Nice. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Space's choice a hefty fine. Right, we got a Um I'll wave your feet since you helped us with those marauders. If you're looking for work, talk to the constable down in Edgewater. She's got a bounty on marauders. Oh not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Okay, cool. Uh, we need to go over here to get, I think, some form of engine thing, I presume. Run, 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 run! Skill and perk po Oh! Skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Weapon management. One hundred DPS, seventy-three. Ah, uh, that looks good. Um, so I need to spend. Okay, so we add one to everything. I want to get dialogue up to fifteen. I'm going to get them up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to put that up and put the rest into guns. There we go. Okay, yes. Accept. Location hit effect for tactical time dilation. Hitting enemies in different locations during TTD. Main... What? Or cripples those body parts. Try different locations to see the different effect. Okay. Uh, selecting perks. Uh, plus 50% base health. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go for that one. That looks good. Crippled. Uh, residents, they both have no loot. Nice. How did they not hear me shoot the other guy, though? Uh, okay. Uh, oh, Edgewater. This is the place we want to be going, and this is a graveyard. Uh. 
safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high wall. Apparently they don't know what half of the stuff is that I'm talking about is. Uh, I never got your name. Your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Uh, who do I talk about? Not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Um... Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. He may want to twist his arm a little. Why? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Make sure he pays up. Okay. Uh, I'll be back. Let's go into Edgewater. Uh, I think this has to reload the game. Yeah, transition. Come on, this actually takes forever. Uh, we got the town leader over here. Uh, we probably need to take a look, see what his deal is. Saltuna Canary. Ooh. Schedule your sick leave with the space choices. Body counts at a discount. Um, should I be disturbed by that? Oh, oh, I have what? Oh, I didn't apply the perk. Okay, that makes sense. Now we've applied it. The grease monkey Argo. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Uh, are you read? Outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Um. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Uh, I'm looking for a power regulator. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But... I happen to know of another one, and I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. What? Uh, what does he mean? Oh, yeah. Saw someone put his hands on the regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Let me guess, there's marauders. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Uh. The geothermal plant was built by our owners, Spacer's Choice. Lit up the whole Vale once upon a time. Most of the Vale is now abandoned. 
All that power is going to waste. So, what do you mean by it being abandoned? The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Uh. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserted. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Uh, tell me what I need to do. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Botanical lab. Adelaide, tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine, and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Uh, yeah, I'll do with the company. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Uh, let's get going then. Oh, best friend. Football friends! Recruited a companion. Uh, okay, that seems self explanatory. Uh, right, let's uh, use it. There we go. Hello. I can't shoot you or kill you. I'm sad. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a deer. It does its job quiet like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Uh, one thing I've noticed is it keeps saying A4 instead of B4. Mr. Devitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is, she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. I don't know anybody well. I mostly listen to them talk, get my head down. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around, asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. Not any sort of deserter. Don't know what that word means, but, um... Can't say as I know. I wasn't there. The sound carried, but not the words. If Mr. Thompson ain't of a mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt if you can get out to her. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. It just... They don't seem right to me, mister. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Uh, so we need to speak to the vicar. Here we go. Hang on, have I gone somewhere wrong? Ah, in here, that makes sense. And Miss Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. 
and with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, the good Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball predictions, the quickest way out of town. But what? I, I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Uh, so he's asked us to fix the geothermal plant. Within your expertise. The way we do it is by cutting off power to the others. The ones who left. Adelaide McDevitt's encampment. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu <coughs> in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? I'll look for the book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Uh, okay, the map is here. So we are currently here. Oh no, we're in Edgewater. Okay. Saltuna Cannery, the only source of protein a busy worker needs. Interested. <clears throat> Come on. Here we go. Oh, so you can kill him. That's cool. Hey, Mr. Come for a visit? Not today. Just helping this fella. Oh, she called me a fella. <laughs> I used to skip rocks in the river, so Constable Reyes ticketed me for unlicensed toilet walking. Hmm? She don't know how to skip rocks or anything. Yeah. Uh, right, let's keep running here. I'll be back in a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. What on earth are these things?
Oh gosh, run, run, run. Come on, come on, come on. These primals are just like mole rats. Right, botanical lab's over this way now. Right, we're here at the botanical lab. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. I, whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Fair enough. Over in the hothouse, tending crops. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Much obliged. Coolio, uh, let's go into here. Adelaide. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you bear an illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Oh. I've been called that among other things. Green thumb, grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you all. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been clean. Me, Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Amends. Damn it. Only thing we knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is fair. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. You would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Canneries got a regulator. If you want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the canneries' guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Oh no! Look what they did to this child. 
Once lost a family to the company, and still she defends them. Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. Hmm. Uh, skill points available. Um, I'm gonna put five into this, and then some more into defense. There we go. Okay, so we also got some more weapons, I think. But what's in here? Oh, you can steal stuff. Okay. I'm not going to because I don't know who I'm going to go for. So leave in the comments whether I should uh, destroy this one or the other one. I'm, And I will probably check them out. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like comment down below and subscribe and if you want to help support the channel then hit that join button it mean the world to me and i'll see you in the next one goodbye